For many schools, environmental learning is often confined to one or two excursions during the school year and is heavily reliant on a handful of staff to carry out and progress these environmental programs. If key staff members leave, these programs often fall away. St John's Grammar Junior School in Belair are using an education for sustainability approach to develop a long-term environmental learning program. All teaching staff across all year levels and learning areas are utilising the park, including specialist lessons such as art, physical education and Indonesian. We really value the relationship with Belair National Park and really believe that it's enabling our students to connect with nature, to understand problems facing the world and to really hone in on what we can actually do as a school, as a culture, as a community to, to really support sustainability in our region and also prepare children for a wonderful life where they can contribute to nature and society. With assistance from National Parks and NRM Education, St John's teaching staff have been designing programs that meet the Australian curriculum, but also centre on the National Park. For years we've been using the Belair National Park for many, many of our activities and we really wanted to uh, take the opportunity to develop our environmental science program. Over the last year or two, NRM Education, along with Park Rangers, have been working with class teachers and providing support to build their capacity in delivering a cross-curricular program. The programs developed are not confined to a handful of opportunities, but through regular interaction in the park. Many of our families don't engage in the park and we thought we had this wonderful opportunity to develop a relationship and a love for the park in our children so that they could bring their families and, and cousins, uh, grandparents, etc. into the park on the weekend. Being so close to the Blair National Park, we come down often, at least once a week, for the children to actually experience the area and to investigate and play and really enjoy the natural park for what it is. We wanted to also work with the park so that we could actually put back into the park as well and show the children how they can actually have a project and contribute to the park rather than just always using the park. So last year's receptions actually collected the seeds in November. We've had the NRM come in and talk about those seeds and what plants they grow into. And then we actually potted those seeds up into little tube stock and we are growing them at the school and caring for them until they're big enough to come back into the park. And ideally in the future make it a bit of a woodland area so to encourage some bandicoots back to that area. What the receptions are doing is a form of succession planning of environmental learning. Each year they will undertake projects in the park, but also preparing for the reception students who will follow them. So the Year 3s are embarking on an investigation into the bandicoots in the Belair National Park. Part of our initial investigations is to ask the question, well, where are the bandicoots and where do they need our help? Trying to get some facts and like asking a few questions about bandicoots. We've been feeling good because uh, we've been inside doing lots of information like sitting down on the chairs and it's good to like get up and have a bit of fresh air around the park but also find some quite good information. We are wanting to get the facts ourselves. Not just look on the internet. Well, most of the trees have fallen down on this side, but like the trees on that side are like still up and they're growing a lot more. The Year Sixes are doing a really exciting project and that is designing an adventure walk for kids and by kids. We went on the walk and the students actually identified 20 spots that they'd like to learn more about. So what we've got so far is we have this brochure that's been developed by our students and the aim is that we have a little map with the points marked along the map and on each point there is a little QR code at the back. The whole idea is that uh, when you come on the walk you get out your phone, you scan the QR code and then that opens up a little multimedia video that explains you know, about the dam or about the commissioner's hut or about the gall in the tree or about the scratch marks on a tree. Well we got to go see everyone's uh, little project. 
space at the end which was very interesting there was history ones there was fun ones there was animal ones yeah nature ones because i think it's a good chance to be able to um show other kids like kids teaching kids into the public not just in school as well so. Staff are really starting to see the connection of our scope and sequence uh, from reception through to year six and the importance of the learning within their year level. Each year level is now starting to realise that in order for the student knowledge to grow, that certain uh, skills and aspects need to be covered in the previous year before them. So I think finding that mindfulness when we first get here and we sit on the log and that time for quiet uh, reflection, using their senses just to look around and see what's here and just that, that stillness. I think life is so busy and, and children's lives are filled with all sorts of things and as are adults and it's actually really nice to find a space where there is time in the day to have that stillness and quiet. I got my gum boots on so I can go in the creek. We have OTs that visit our school and uh, work with some of our students about balancing and stepping over things and getting their core strength. And I think just by playing in, in this environment naturally leads to a lot of that as well. After they've done that seven kilometre walk and they are exhausted when they get back to school, but the turnaround time in them just being sort of uplifted and really, really positive and it just sort of creates um, like you do with any exercise really, this uh, a really sort of positive energy that, that then flows into the afternoon. It's just been uh, really noticeable. We really value the relationship with Belair National Park and really believe that it's enabling our students to connect with nature, to understand problems facing the world and to really hone in on what we can actually do as a school, as a culture, as a community to, to really support sustainability in our region and also prepare children for um, a, a wonderful life where they can contribute to nature, society, and um, we really believe that the junior school here is taking really positive steps to support that partnership with NRM and Belair National Park through curriculum initiatives. St John's Grammar have taken advantage of their local environment and working with their community and partners have developed an amazing environmental learning program. If your school wants to head along a similar path and connect with your local environment, even if it is just within your school grounds, NRM Education can assist. To find out more, come and see us or go to our website.